been up against a very good Leicester team today and given them quite a game. How proud are you of your players' performance? Listen, I'm, I'm proud of, of the effort that everyone's gave. It's, uh, it proves that it's in them, you know. I need more performances like that. I need more guts, willingness, desire, running, closing, tackling, belief. Oh, the stupidity, you know, again, has cost us though a moment of, uh, of naivety from somebody who you think is probably a bit more experienced than that. But um, gutted that we uh, we lost that game. And it's taken a worldy strike from uh, from a Premier League player. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's probably on more money than the entire squad I've got. But he deserves it because he's a, he's a quality player. But we kept a really, really good Leicester team at, at Sirius Bay today. Um, I think we outshot them in the first half. Um, you know, chances were going to be few and far between, but you're playing top of the league. You're playing the Premier League side that's come down, kept all their players. They're putting in the actual one at the end there, and um, really proud. Some real good positives. Reggie Cannon, I thought, was another another big plus. More minutes for him, um, but I saw some things from players that I need to see week in, week out now, week in, week out, not just now and again. Um, that was a, that was a good performance, but. The sending off has, has really changed it and uh, disappointed and, uh, you know, I'm, keep things in house, obviously, but Andre's apologised to everyone in there and uh, and he'll have to take one on the chin. Um, but it happens in football, you know, these, these gamesmanships that people play and I think um, the Leicester boy knows exactly what he's doing, gets a reaction, goes down and, uh, and that's the second yellow card for Andre in, in what is a, a crazy moment. Circumstances meant that you had to change things, particularly at the back. And you had Ozzy Kakai sticking really close to Jamie Vardy. Did that position and that task just suit Ozzy? Ozzy was fantastic today, you know. This is England striker Jamie Vardy, who uh, who anyone would have in their team, probably the top, you know, <laughs> maybe not the top three or four sides in the Premier League, but probably they would still as well. He's, a, he's an unbelievable striker, but I've got a centre-half there who's played out of his skin, didn't let Jamie have a sniff today, and I thought that was excellent performance from Ozzy, you know. Um, we're makeshift, you know, I have no centre-halves available today. Uh, Steve Cook is so close, but there's no way we could risk him, and I'm so glad I didn't now because I've lost a couple more for next week. Um, Morgan Fox still away, Jimmy Dunn suspended, Jake Clark Salter got injured at the, uh, at the West Brom game, Sinclair Armstrong picked an injury up, you know, so... It's slim pickings, you know, and uh, and no excuses. They play like that every week. I'm, I'm proud of them, and I, I will make sure that those performances keep coming because they'll be enough to get enough points to stay in this league. We're in a relegation battle, obviously. Um, we know where we are on the table, but I firmly believe that we can keep going like we did today. We'll get enough points to stay up. It also led to an opportunity for Charlie Kelman, and later on, Elijah Dixon Bonner. How did those players do for you? Charlie's a good lad, you know, dying for his chance. And uh, and I think we saw an old-fashioned striker, which I think the partnership with Lyndon worked really well today. Um, you know, Lyndon was at his best, winning his flicks, uh, holding the ball up, getting chances. Uh, and Charlie definitely is, uh, is, is waited patiently. But um, I was really pleased with him. Disappointed to have to take him on to change the shape when we went to 10 men. Um, Elijah came on and uh, yeah, it was a makeshift right back at the end there because I wanted to add some pace with Paul Smith on the wing and uh, and that almost came off. But I felt again the rub of the green went against us, but I don't want to comment too much on that. Um, tough, tough day. Uh, and and some of the signings that I made in the summer, missing you know your foxes and your cooks, they're, they're key for me. I think they've uh, in the performances earlier in the season they've been absolute. You know, real rocks at that heart of defence, and uh, and we're very stretched at the moment. But as I say, opportunities for other people to come through. Um, there'll definitely be a, a bright future for a lot of the players. But in the present, we need to pick up some points.